Hello and welcome to PK Glitz. I'm Janelle Marshall. Our class today is going to be on glitter collage. The supplies we're going to need are sticky paper, comes in full and quarter size sheets. I'll be using the quarter size sheets today. We'll be using our sticky tape for our adhesive. I'm going to be using the background acetates for my picture today for one of my cards. We're going to be using our glitter glitz and I'm using the colors from the spring two wheel. We'll need, of uh, course, our cardstock for our card, application spoon, bone folder, antistatic brush, a alcohol marker. We're going to use that in a little trick that we call killing the edge. It gets rid of that white look along the edge. Also a good quality glue stick and instead of my old standby coffee filters today just a piece of white copy paper. Brayer is going to come in handy, not mandatory, but a real handy little tool to use as well. Okay, let's begin our class. We're going to be working with what we call glitter collage. And basically that is glitter on sticky paper as a background for your other artwork. Now we most frequently use it here at PK Glitz behind our acetates. But it can be used as a background for any type of embellishment. Now today for my color choices, I've actually chosen the colors from one of our color wheels. To show you that a simple color wheel, you can take any three colors out of the group and you'll have a beautiful background. These are put together in this uh, grouping because they complement each other. We've got spring, summer, fall, and winter, and you'll find that any three and any, any wheel will give you a really nice collage background. Now, as I said, I've chosen three of the colors. I've chosen Tanzanite, Violet, and Sea Mist as my colors that I'm going to work on today. I also have got some uh, acetate background pieces that I'm going to use as my uh, picture over my background. The acetates, once again, come in a sheet with four pieces on each one, so you get four cards or four embellishments out of each piece. Now I've already cut mine into quarters over here and, and have them ready to use in just a moment. First, let's go ahead and work with our sticky paper. The sticky paper comes in two sizes. This happens to be the smaller size and it comes in full size sheets. I'm just going ahead and using the full size quarter piece and we can do some cutting and trimming if we need to later on. First, to get them apart, I'm just going to worry that corner a little bit peel the two apart. Of course, one side sticky, one's not. We'll get rid of the knot. And then I'm going to lay sticky side up just on a piece of, of white copy paper. That works real well for me. Then we're going to take our spoon and we're going to choose one of our colors. I'm going to choose this beautiful tanzanite. I think that tanzanite is one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to get it all over the paper. Just very random. And instead of letting it slide off the extra, I'm going to quickly flip it and give it a couple of good taps. Okay, now that we've got that one done, let's take that excess and put it back in here. Now those of you who have watched some of my classes before know that I usually use coffee filters for my excess glitter. And I would in this case, but this piece is so large that it kind of overdoes a coffee filter. So just a plain piece of of uh, copy paper works real well. Now let's go with number color number two. Once again, just very random. There's just no rhyme or reason to this really at all. You just want to be very, very random with it. And again, just a quick flip. Let that extra go right off. Ooh, that's looking nice. I like that. And again, we're just going to take our excess color and just put it right back into our jar. Now my last color is going to be the sea mist green. So I'm going to take that and actually cover the whole piece. I want to be sure that every little bit of that sticky paper now has got glitter on it somewhere. Okay, so we'll just drizzle that all around and then once again we'll give it a good tap. Get that extra off, just like so. Oh, isn't that going to be a beautiful background? I really like that. 
Now let's just put this extra to the side. I'm going to take my antistatic brush and just brush any little extra bits away. There will be a few that don't stick. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then, just as a little tip, sometimes I'll take my brayer and I'll just kind of quickly go over the whole thing. That just confirms that everything that's on there is nice and flat and ready for me to use. Now that we have this lovely background piece, we're going to choose the acetate that we would like to put over it. And you really have a large selection to choose from. Now this, I think, would be just extraordinary. I really like that. And in fact, I probably would even leave that little edge as a border out beside the edge rather than cut it straight to the acetate. I think that would really be pretty. Now here's a second. This is more our woven pattern, but quite pretty. Let's put that one to the side. And then here is our diamond pattern. Ooh, I like that too. That looks really good. Then, even though it seems like this wouldn't be a color combination, isn't that pretty with leaf vein over the top of it? I like that one too. Now this is a, another of our tree patterns. That's very interesting. I like that too. And then of course it doesn't have to be a a full-size piece, we could always trim it down and use it with one of our butterflies. And I think that would be exceptional. I really like that. I'm, it's a hard choice for me, but let's go back to the very first one that we saw. This is called Fans. And I just I think there's just something about that that really appeals to me in those particular colors. So let's go ahead and make our card from here. Okay. Now I've cut the components for my card. I'm going to do a two-layer card stock. I have my background uh, glitter collage, and then I've chosen my uh, background acetate that I'm going to put over the top. This is really going to be a gorgeous card. Now, first of all, the easy part, we're simply going to apply one card stock over the other. I used my quarter-inch sticky tape uh, around the back of that, and I'll go all the way around. Take those off and then simply center it onto our card just like so. Now, the sticky paper is very, very thin. It was designed that way so that it can be used in any of your die cut machines. You can cut and punch beautifully. You never have a gooey buildup. But because it is so thin, occasionally when you use it with tape, you will see the tape through it. So I prefer to use the glue stick when I'm putting my sticky paper onto my cardstock. But before we even do that, I'm going to show you one other quick trick. Your sticky paper is white. And if you've done color on top of it, sometimes that little bit of a white edge will show. So if you have a, say any kind of a little marquee pen, just run it along the edge of that sticky paper and it will just kill that white edge enough <clears throat> that I, I use the phrase a lot, it takes it from homemade to hallmark. It really gets rid of that homemade look and gives it a very professional look when you're through. Okay? Now, let's take our sticky paper and backside get our good quality glue stick. Now that doesn't mean those ten for a dollar at the five and dime. That means a good quality glue stick. Okay? All over. Back just like so. And then once we've got that done we're going to put that right on to our card. I just love these colors. The combination is beautiful. And there we have it, just like so. Then, out comes the brayer. We'll just do our little road work thing right here. And there is our gorgeous background. Whew! Think of the things we could do with that. Well, I'm going to put my beautiful background piece over the top of that and then add a small message bar over here in the corner. When you're putting your back, your acetates onto your glitter collage paper, you'd be surprised at how easily hidden 
your tape can be. Now the best thing is always to choose a darker portion of your background acetate to put your tape on or if you know you're going to put a little message bar of some kind on there put it wherever the message bar is going to be and that way you will never see to be sure I'm doing this on the right side you will never see your adhesive. I'm going to put a couple of little pieces on there just like that sufficiency to hold on and this will actually hold our background acetate to our glittered surface. And I'm just getting a hold of this. There we go. Okay. And we'll put that right over our glitter collage. And sometimes it, it just it disappears, so I don't even remember where I put my tape. So I just kind of go over the whole little area. Okay gotten that far. Now we're going to take our little message bar, put that right down there in the corner, and that's going to be our finish. Isn't that just gorgeous? And here we have our finished piece. I just love those colors, and all from the spring glitter glitz wheel. That leaf pattern is just one of my favorites. A new pattern. Three trees. Very interesting. One of our little silhouettes called mountains and a blue background. If you like burgundy tones, this one is just gorgeous. Something a little more masculine for one of the men in your family. We always have those special occasions. Thanksgiving is a great one to use this behind something for the holidays, and just a single color on the background. In other words, create your own bling paper. And of course it doesn't have to have a background acetate on top. Here we've added a little butterfly with a simple saying. So any type of embellishment is gorgeous on top of the glitter collage background. Thank you for joining our class today on Glitter Collage. Be sure to join our email family so we can let you know about our next class and also tell you about the kits that are available in the PK Glitz store.